Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Julia Rose and today I am talking about wreaths and a few little pieces I bought for spring and summer. Along with some other goodies that I cannot wait to share with you. They're more like, I'd put them in the same bracket as wreaths. You know, high street, but really, really nice. It feels so good to be back. It's taken me a little while to get back into it, but I'm so excited. So hit that subscribe button because I'd love to have you back. Let's get started. First up is this new bracelet from Monica Venator, and I absolutely love it. I wanna show you first because I'm desperate to get it back on my wrist. It is my new addition to my stack that I love wearing, and I had to put it back in this box because look how cute this packaging is. It's like a little mini jewelry box. <laughs> love it, and then you get a lovely pouch. Monica Venator is gorgeous. I've been a fan for so long. They're eco-conscious. They used recycled materials. Look how beautiful my new chain link bracelet is. It is so stunning. I love wearing it. I've added it to my left wrist, which is where I wear my bracelet that my from my mom and my watch. So I love stacking it. And do you know what is so great about this bracelet? It's so easy to put on by myself. I don't need my husband. It's just the most perfect addition. I love it. So I have the hard bangle, a chain link, and my watch. And I feel like that's complete now. So thank you, Monica Venator. I love, love, love that. Okay, first up is this linen jumpsuit. I just love the color. It's got that cornflower blue color that I really, really love. It's got these really great, like champagne gold rings as a detail. And in the back, yeah, is a gold. Can't see because of my light very well. Um, I love this color. I just think for the spring and the summer with some linen, excess, some like neutral accessories, obviously, and some nice wedges, and maybe a blazer for when it's colder. I think this color can look so gorgeous. If you wanna add a little pop of color, this is what I'm talking about, like a lovely cornflower blue or a light pink, I think goes a long way to match everything else that I talk about going together in this wardrobe. This color, this hue, goes so nicely with camel, with navy, with gray, with black and white. So it goes with all of my staple colors. I really, really love it. If it was a bit more royal, I would say it wouldn't go as well with those other colors, but because it's got that light, springy, summery step into it, I love, love, love. I love that it has butt pockets, okay? Like there are so many jumpsuits that don't have butt pockets and I never order them because I need a pocket at my butt cheek to break it up. If I don't have it, then I don't get a lot away with underwear lines. Um, it just looks way bigger and a longer space. The pockets really break up that space. So I love a jumpsuit with pockets. It's surprising how much I care about them. But hey, it has actual pockets, which is always a win. This is a really great accent along the tummy. So if you wanted to hide or cover up your tummy at all, these are really handy if you don't want to do that, tying it in the back maybe, or just tying it in a cute little bow in the front is a really nice accent and can actually cinch in the waist a lot, which is really fun and handy. And I love that you can make this higher or lower. Next up, I have these super cute jeans that I could not resist. Again, with the 70s vibe. Hold on, let me just double check this not on random slit up the side, no, but they are quite flary, which I'm really excited about. I got the petite size because they're really, really long in the regular. I love this new look. We're getting away from the skinny leg, which are, you can obviously still wear, they're still in, but we're trying a new trend, going back to the flares, and I love it. You might still have some flares from when you were in your teenager years, I certainly do. I have a pair of Seven For All Mankind flares that I might dig out. The only problem with those is the low waist. I mean, is there anything more annoying? I'm not going back to the low waist. There's no way in heck. So 
These are high-waisted flares, which I like a lot more than my teenager years for obvious reasons. And I cannot wait to style these with blouses tucked in, a t-shirt and wedges, a blazer, everything in between. Oh my gosh, you can really dress these up or dress these down. I love the color. I think they come in a dark as well, so if you wanted something a bit more evening-y, that would work really well. Or maybe a, just a look at, like a smarter look. The thing that I love about a high-waisted jean is the cinched-in waisted belt that you can add to it as a little accent I love. So I've got some really nice Reese belts that I've bought, you know, throughout the last year, I think. They might still have them on the website. I know a lady on YouTube asked me about belts and any top tips I have for belts, and this is all I've come up with, which is when you see a belt you like, buy it because it's one of those things where if you're like, mm, I need a belt, I'm gonna go out shopping, you never find the one that you like. But you're just gonna stumble across them as and when you're like shopping around. And if you're online, always have a little look at the belts that are on the website because there's some real gems out there. And if you go, ooh, that one looks great, buy it, even if you don't really know exactly what to wear it with now, because like I said, when you need one, it's there. And then you go shopping for one, you can't find any. So I love these super cute little pockets on the bum. You guys know I love a white shirt. I think they should be in every single wardrobe. They really help elevate an outfit or they look super cute dressed down with some shorts and some cute shoes and a little bag. I just love a white shirt. That's one of my top tips for any capsule wardrobe or if you think something's missing and you just need some things to tie together. A crisp white shirt is fantastic, and Reese's tailoring is the best. Now, the difference between this white shirt and another white shirt that I have in my wardrobe is this is more oversized, which is a trend, but it's one that's been and gone so many times that it's not the worst idea to have one in your wardrobe. Also, the benefits of having an oversized shirt is less sweaty sweat marks. Um, it's not so pulley and grabby on you and you can really billow it out, roll these sleeves up and make it look super, super cool and cash. Like I love that look. Throw a blazer over the top and it's just amazing. I love that you can have more, if you have a more oversized shirt, you can get away with undoing a few buttons and it not looking so slutty, if you know what I mean? So I just love, love, love this. I think it's so gorgeous. It comes in at under 100 pounds, so it's not crazy expensive. I really honestly think that the cost per wear on this item is really beneficial. And speaking of blazers, I could not resist this gorgeous camel blazer. Now, I don't actually have a light camel blazer, okay? Before you're like, Julia, I'm sure you have a blazer, a camel blazer. I do. It's very, very yellow and it's very, very oversized. So this is a very different vibe. This one fits like a glove. My other one is from Zara, so it's a much more casual, larger vibe. This one from Reese. I mean, honestly, their blazer tailoring makes me go all funny inside. It is more oversized than maybe such a skinny fit one, but also I got a six instead of my regular four, so I think that has a difference in it. I like to wear layers under my blazer, so I need a little bit more room so I can fit some more stuff underneath. The color is absolutely beautiful. It will go with any denim, black, light blue, dark blue. I just think it's so stunning. For spring and summer, that little lighter color of camel is gorgeous with a white shirt underneath, some cute jeans and some cute heels. I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this blazer and I highly recommend it if you're looking to invest into a blazer for this season. I just think it's stunning. I love a single breast. You know how I don't like them, like all the buttons because I feel like a cat with a lot of nipples. And the back is just so beautiful. The material is just so fluid and gorgeous. The pockets are wonderful. The button, everything, the detail on this blazer is stunning. I am keeping this for sure. So these aren't from Reese. These are Lulu Studio. And one of the trends for 2022, which I'm totally down with, because again, it's not like some weird trend that's gonna be here and gone before I know it. It's been around for a very long time. It's trousers. <laughs> They're not going anywhere. But 
the trend at the minute is wearing suit trousers, tailored suit trousers, as a casual outfit, which I love because they look so smart and jeans aren't always what I fancy wearing, you know? And these are just the tailoring, ta bleh, the tailoring on these are so gorgeous. What I didn't want to do was buy a cheap pair of trousers that didn't fit like a glove and the material was a bit rubbish and then I would throw them away when the trend's over. I want a good pair of trousers that fit me perfectly and the material is gorgeous. You might think, trousers, we're going into spring and summer. Why are you making me wear pants? Because they're so thin, but gorgeous. They're not like so thin that you're like, mm, that's not worth the money. The material is so beautiful that you can wear these in autumn, spring, summer. I mean, probably not winter, but that's just because I wouldn't want to get them muddy and wet. I love them. I love the high waist. I love the tailoring here. This has some fluff on it. I love the tailoring here. I love the length on them. You could easily get these tailored up and I might actually do that um, to fit that perfect length. But this wide leg tailored trouser is really sexy, I think. You know, if you wear it with a gorgeous white top or like a tank top and a little belt, I just think it would look so cute with an oversized or even one of the smaller blazers. It would look so beautiful or with a trench coat or something. Oh, just stunning. I love, love, love these. So highly recommend. They are a investment, but I'll also link some other options that I think would work as well if you don't want to pay the Lulu Studio price. But I couldn't wait to show you these because I just think they're stunning. Okay, I also bought these sunglasses, which are the cutest darn things ever. These little pink Celines. I Love them. Again, with the 70s retro vibe. Like, how cute are those? I love these. I got them from Selfridges on sale. Um, I don't think they're still on the website, actually. I just checked, but I think they come and go. And so double check, but I'll also link them elsewhere if you love, 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 because I love, love, love these. <laughs> okay, these are the Levi's Rib Cage, and I absolutely adore them. They fit so nicely. I got the 27 inch, so they're a little bit shorter. And so I can show off my shoe, which is so fun. It's got like a 70s vibe. I just love, love, love. This cream ribbed top is stunning. So this sweetheart neckline is all the rage at the minute, but I just think it's really lovely. It really adds a feminine touch to a neckline and it shows off a really sexy part. This neckline is beautiful. I think it's so stunning. The way that it fits is just gorgeous. It's quite, it's not super skimpy. This is the extra small and there's still room in it and I love it and I just think it adds such a unique touch to an outfit. It really works under a blazer, it works under a coat, and it just works by itself. I think it really shows off jewelry that you may have and looks great dressed up and with jeans. So this is a keeper for sure. So that's it you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget I've linked everything I've talked about down in the description box, so please have a click around if there's something that you like, and have a great rest of your week, and I'll talk to you later.